I grew up um, near Stonehenge, so I'm well aware that the A303, the road that Stonehenge stands next to, can be a, a bit of a nightmare to drive on. And also, of course, I long to visit the stones and not have cars and lorries thundering by. So, you might think I would welcome the government's plan to move the A303 into a tunnel, but I don't. I think it would be a catastrophe, an act of vandalism that would shame our country and our generation. The tunnel is planned to be just under two miles long. Its construction would devastate this landscape. Why? Well, let's visit Blick Mead, a site near where the eastern entrance is scheduled to be built. Finds being made here go back 10,000 years. These are the primordial beginnings of developments that over the course of millennia will culminate in Stonehenge. But if you build a tunnel here, then all prospect of future finds would be obliterated. And it points to a fundamental truth. Stonehenge did not exist in isolation. Stretching all around it are traces stamped not just in the fields, but in the very subsoil of Salisbury Plain, of the most archaeologically significant landscape anywhere in Europe. Lose it to the tunnel and you lose our beginnings. 11,000 years ago, not just Stonehenge, but perhaps Britain itself began here, beside these springs. But the tunnel threatens disaster in other ways too. There are currently plans for the western entrance to be built behind those trees. But there's a problem because on the day of the winter solstice, which is really the most significant day of the whole year for Stonehenge, the sun sets over there in alignment with the stones over there. And that means that if a tunnel portal is built there, the light pollution will absolutely destroy the view of the setting sun. Please don't let this happen. Please support the Stonehenge Alliance.